we are going to do next is to divide the applied magnetic field into two parts. First we're going to have a permanent ring magnet here and when argon gas goes through this Corbino disc plus minus from an argon gas power supply it will make the ion spin very rapidly but it won't eject them. And then over here we're going to put three electromagnets arranged radially which will provide Lorentz forces to make the ions eject. We're going to give them various kinds of power and we're going to see how they eject with various kinds of power and what generally happens. DC, AC, or three phase. So let's do the experiments and see what happens. Okay, now the argon gas is spinning with a ring magnet. We're going to turn on three phase power to these radio magnets. On, off. On, off. Now we have the argon gas spinning, and we're going to add three phase radio power. On, off. On, off. Now we're going to change the direction of three phase spin by wiring VW as WV and try again. We seem to be getting a weaker effect. Now we flip the wiring back from UWV to UVW. Again we see a nice exhaust. I can feel a lot of ions with my finger when the exhaust happens. Turn on three phase power. You can feel the stream of hot ions hitting your finger and heating it up. I'll burn my finger if I leave it there any longer. Next we have a ring magnet that makes it spin and we're going to give it a single phase AC field, not three phase. There's also some kind of ejection there. Now the ring magnet has it spinning and we're going to add single phase AC power with a diode which will be pulse DC to the electromagnets. You can see some ejection but it's not that impressive. Now we've wired up the electromagnets to take pure DC power from a power supply. You see a little increase of spin velocity. When we go to about 30 volts, it spins much faster, but it doesn't release. Next, if we have no ring magnet, just electromagnets, and do the same thing, the gas will spin slightly, but not very fast. If we flip the polarity, you'll see it spin the other way. This is pure DC power. Now here's the 
is three phase power, three electromagnets without a ring magnet. Quite powerful. Now we have the argon gas spinning and we're going to add three phase radio power. on. Oh, 